Guys, how we doing? Welcome to the channel. Today's video is sponsored by Bora Wheel Spacers. If you're looking to make your tractor more stable, left to right, laterally, you know, so you don't tip over side to side, check out Bora Wheel Spacers, link down below. Today is a sad day for me, but it's pretty happy as well. I'm gonna tell you why. You know, we found a piece of property. I hope, fingers crossed, all right? doing due diligence right now but i think even if we don't end up buying this piece the property that we're going to find around here is just too small to justify having a tractor like this guy right here i bought this tractor with the future in mind i didn't buy it actually for this neighborhood three quarter acre lot but when i found a, a good deal on a nice clean piece of equipment like this and knew we were looking for a piece of land i wanted to strike while i could so i've had this since last september i think it is so about six or seven months and uh I'm just not gonna be able to justify it. So it's disappointing for me because this is just decked out the way that I like my tractors with all sorts of different options and add-ons on it. You know, it's just set up already for the grapple, of course, and additional remotes on the back and air ride seat and just very deluxe, you know, and very, very low hours. There's only 73 hours on this tractor currently. It's a 2011 or 2012, so it's nearly 10 years old. It's a, a barn find in every sense of the word that I was really happy to have. So it's time to make somebody else the lucky owner. You know, so the backstory on where I got this tractor from, I'm located here in Kalamazoo, Michigan. This came from central Michigan. So the gentleman that bought it, he ordered it new from the factory from John Deere, had it set up with everything that you see on here, including all the remotes and the, the bells and whistles that came along with it. He had big plans, he had big dreams, you know, but life changed. He stored it in his barn there. Him and his wife both got reassigned down south, I think maybe to the Carolinas for work. They wanted to have, you know, a micro farm of sorts up there in, in mid-Michigan and had their plans put on hold for a while, for several years in fact, and they finally relocated back here just a couple of years ago. And for one reason or another, those plans just never came to fruition and their life's heading in a different direction. So he followed along on my YouTube channel and he reached out wondering if I might want to sell this on consignment for him. And I said, hey, why not? This was right up my alley, maybe a little bit bigger than I normally sell, but very clean, low hour machine with a lot of great features on it so let's give it a whirl however as soon as we had it down on my lot here in kalamazoo and i took a look at it i thought i've got to have this thing for myself and so we worked out a deal so i could just buy it out right from them and i was going to take this with me to that future property wherever it was all right well let's get to it let's go over the specs i got to be perfectly honest i was gonna get to know this tractor this has all sorts of things on it that i don't even know about i'm used to smaller subcompacts and compacts i'm going to share what i know if you have a tractor like this i know a lot of you guys do if i flub something or if i'm missing what an option or a feature does, I'd love to get your comment down below. You'll help us all out. Hey, you know what? And if you end up liking this video, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. And if you're in the market for something cool for your tractor, read to that description underneath the video or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Now let's get you that overview. So you'll see this is equipped with a model H260 front end loader. It is going to be a quick park or removable loader where you can completely disconnect it. It's got parking stands that it'll set on as well. You're going to see it is equipped with a grapple right now, but it also comes with a bucket and I'm including a set of pallet forks. Down below at this connection point between the front end loader and the grapple is going to be what's called a global style connection, not a John Deere quick attach, not a Skister quick attach, something totally different, something that's found normally on the larger tractors like what this utility tractor is right here. Now let's talk about this loader lift right here. We're talking 11 foot, actually 11 and a half foot if you had a flat bottom like to where these lower tines are on the grapple, it'll lift 3,700 pounds that high. Now that's a lot of weight. The one thing this loader doesn't have is that mechanical self-leveling option, which for me, I would like to have that, but it's not the end of the world. It's actually fairly easy to control two functions at once on here. So if you wanna raise and lower and then curl or roll or you know, open and close the jaws of a grapple, you can do two functions at one time with relative ease. It's about 15 foot nine inches to the top of that grapple up there. The width and the current setup I have this right now is about seven and a half foot wide, but you will notice these bolted on center caps here. What that allows you to do is have 
what's called eight different positions. You can unbolt this and flip it to this side. You can unbolt it and reverse it and then bolt it back on. And then you can flip the tires to inside and outside as well because this center plate is actually off-centered. Inside the, the wheel here, it is not perfectly left to right in the center. It's intentionally set off to one side to allow for more adjustment left to right. Well, so get you a close measurement of overall height. It's not as bad as I thought. It's about eight and a half foot or 102 inches from the ground to the top of the cab. While we're at it, let's get you a quick measurement on the wheelbase center of the rear wheel to the center of the front wheel. You're gonna be about seven foot four inches or 88 inches, okay? If we talk about what's going on underneath the hood here, this is gonna be a John Deere branded four cylinder turbocharged liquid cooled diesel engine. Nominal 115 horsepower as well, so it's a very, very capable machine. Once you get into five series tractors by John Deere, they're gonna start manufacturing their own engines. The smaller compacts and subcompacts, they're gonna use the Yanmar engine, which is a very great engine in and of itself, but they're gonna migrate over to their own engines when they're in the larger machines. So driving that 115 horsepower engine underneath the hood is gonna be the power reverser transmission. So the power reverser, you'll see a handle on the steering column up here that allows you to change direction going forward or reverse. You don't have to physically change a gear or a range or any other levers down below. It's just simply right, right on the steering column, just forward and backwards. You can be in the same gear, just you can switch while you're in motion actually. And it'll, it's, it's just synchronized and and geared in a way that's gonna allow it to slow down and come to a stop and then reverse. You're gonna be able to adjust that as well with the turn of a knob just to have more fine-tuned control if you wanna to come to a very abrupt stop or a very long, drawn-out, slow stop before you reverse and change direction. So what you have going on, you have four different gears, one, two, three, and four, and you also have four different ranges, A, B, C, and D. So it's a four by four, and then you can times that by two because you have the reverse for all of those gears as well. So 16 forward and 16 reverse. Now this does have a feature that I don't know what it is kind of tucked in behind it. I'm pretty sure it's related to it because it says A, B, C, and D, and it's got a picture of a snail and then a snail and a hare and a snail and another snail. So I have yet to figure out what that option does. I feel like it must offer some additional fine tuning control on the gearing or the speed that you can go when you're in certain ranges. And controlling the engine speed or the RPMs, you're gonna have a hand throttle that's mounted up on the right fender and you're also gonna have a foot throttle down below right next to your brake. So the M-Series tractors are a level up from the 5E. So you have the 5E, the 5M, the 5R. They just kind of keep getting more and more deluxe, decked out, more capable as well as not only when you go up in horsepower, but the trim series as well. I can't really imagine needing anything beyond what the 5M offers, but perhaps there's applications out there that I don't know about that could be suitable for that. You have tilt steering here. You've got uh, an air ride seat that I'm sure is an option, but not standard. You've got... Um, the turn signals, you've got the power reverser controls, you have your typical um, regen settings that you can do it in auto or in the parked motor, you can turn it off. There's a, a button down here that I believe is to fully engage or engage on demand the four wheel drive system from what I understand. Uh, light controls as well and wiper controls for the front wiper. There's also a rear wiper with its own controls towards the back. Now up here being a factory cab, you are gonna have a full complement of heat and air conditioning settings. Your AC button right here, you can turn it on and off. You know, this is gonna control the, the, the a level of cold air or cool air and then hot air or warm air with this dial and then your fan speed. There are a lot of different vents all over this machine. You have some underneath as well. Same thing over here, and then even a couple more further back to really dial in defrost on those fall, winter, and early spring days. You do have a radio, and this one is equipped with Bluetooth, MP3, and an auxiliary as well. And you're gonna have a pretty sweet sunroof up here that I really like with a window that does open all the way. That's pretty slick. I wish my 4066 had that. And one of the coolest features that I really, really love, I wish there was enough space in the 4066 is this little buddy seat here. It could be a little cramped for another full-size adult, but uh, the couple of times that I've 
just ridden around the countryside with the kids. It's a pretty cool little feature to have. On the right hand side is where you'll find most of the controls. The loader joystick is equipped with what you call the electro hydraulic third function. These are the buttons that I'm pushing to open and close the grapple jaws or if you have anything else plugged into that up front, say maybe an angling blade for example, the same action right here would angle that blade left or right. These three levers are going to control the different outlets that are on the back. You've got the first, second, and third, they call it, as identified right here. But you have all sorts of additional remotes right here to control whatever you want to have on the back side for hay equipment or tillage or planting anything along that avenue you have plenty of options here this is not standard neither is this thumb control you'll see a lot of these tractors that just have maybe one or two or maybe not even any remotes back there but this is pretty much decked out with all the remotes that you can get this black entire module is the three-point raising and lowering mechanism you would raise and lower just going up and down with this control and you can set your minimum height just by what this dial adjusted up or down and then anytime you want to go back down your attachment is going to lower down to that same height you might use this feature for setting the same tilling depth or even a brush hog cutting height that way it's consistent throughout the entire project one of the really cool features found on here are these two buttons just with a push of a button without even looking you can raise all the way up you push the other button it's going to lower the three-point hitch all the way back down to the ground You'll notice a couple options here with the yellow handles and knobs. This is, of course, going to turn your PTO on and off on the back. You're going to have your standard 540 RPM PTO, but you'll also have the economy mode as well, which is designated by the 540E. That is for the more fuel-efficient consumption if you're using just a light attachment, say maybe a, a light brush hog, for example, and just kind of cruising along, not a big strain or load on the engine. That's a good setting for that kind of feature. So really, this has a lot of features and probably more even than my 4R tractor does. You can even see the quantity of knockouts. They're just knockouts all over this machine here, everywhere you look to add additional features and controls. I even love this tiny little sight window that's behind. You can get a really good look down to the three-point hitch and the PTO and everything going on down behind the machine. And I figure why not just for scale, I'm about six foot three. I may be rounding up, but that's okay. Pretty close and a little bit over 200 pounds. So you can kind of see how this fits me on the smaller tractors. You know, some of you guys that are bigger than me even will really feel cramped, but on a machine this size, you have more than enough room to stretch out. It's a very, very comfortable operator station. If we spend a couple minutes on the back side, you're going to see it's a very robust looking rear end on this tractor. A lot of cast iron going on. This is going to be a category one slash category two tractor. Pulling some information off of tractor data online, this three point hitch is going to lift 4,800 pounds, 24 inches out from the end of the three point arm. So if you take you know, your tape measure, go 24 inches out, it'll lift 4,800 pounds. It also lists an optional kit, it must be, I'm not exactly sure, that can lift 5,900 pounds. So I'm not sure which version of the three-point this is. Either way, that's a lot of weight. To go along with that, the PTO horsepower that's back here, so the attachments you can put on the back of this tractor, it's gonna be rated at, or tested I should say, at about 103 PTO horsepower. That's very impressive. So a few adjustment points on this three-point hitch, you're gonna have uh, draft links down below on the end of the arms that you can slide in and out, along with these telescoping uh, sway arms that you can also slide in and out very easily. And then you're gonna have your adjustable pitch uh, controls on each one of the lower links as well, so you have a a lot of adjustment here it makes it very easy attaching to three-point attachments and similar to what you might have seen on my 4066R this is going to be a three-point control to be able to raise and lower the three-point hitch and what you have attached to it right from back here off of the operator station and this is a good look at the three additional remotes that you have on the back side of the tractor again this is going to be one circuit two circuit and three circuit and you're going to have a drawbar as well as a seven pin power outlet for wagons and trailers as well that's just about gonna sum it up, folks. You know, I'm sure there's a lot of features that I kind of overlooked or didn't even think about. You know, these fender flares and mirrors, there's just so much going on with this tractor. I'm telling you, it's gonna make somebody just a gem of a tractor for years to come. There's only 73 hours. Those hours are gonna very slowly climb until I sell it. We don't use it very much at the shop, so it's normally just sitting around. We can ship this tractor all over the country if you are not local, so we can definitely help you out with that. Make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com a lot more information, details, and pictures there as well. So if you like what you see here, I'd love to get a thumbs up from you and make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. And as always, if you're looking for something for your tractor, read through that description right underneath the video or head on over to goodworkstractors.com. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.